Today, we're gonna be testing the Big Fish 108 right here on the water. We wanna do a demo test. We're gonna test the speeds, the drive, all that stuff. Let's see how it goes. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start slow. Just gonna go like how you normally would go. But first, let me just drop this rod on the water because we might just get a fish. There you go. We just may get lucky and get a fish. Now I'm going easy speeds. Like I could maintain this life for a long, long, long time, forever, pretty much. We're going at 2.8 miles an hour, 2.9 miles an hour, easy speeds. I could maintain this forever. Super awesome stuff. I don't feel anything. I don't feel fatigue or anything like that. I'm gonna turn here because I hate fountains. Like they creep me out. I just turn. Look at this sharp turn for a 10 foot super wide boat. Crazy turn. Now the water here is calm. If you go somewhere where it's choppy or something like horrible waters, the boat is not gonna perform the same way. But again, if it's super crazy, this is not the boat for, for that type of water. Heck no. And actually, just gotta be careful. You gotta see if it's worth going out because if the water is really, really nasty, don't, don't even get on it. I wanna hit it up a little bit. See what's up. This is not like the fastest speeds that I could give it, but we're getting 3.6. I could probably maintain this for a few minutes. Not like a really long, long drag out process, 3.4. Like if there's a lot of current and I have to keep going, I can't maintain this, but I see I'm slowing down already 3.2. I want the sun. I love going this way. I hate going that way. Oh my God, fish. Shit. I just saw a fish right there in front of me. The, the beautiful thing about this boat is like, could just stand up without even thinking about it you see so high that you're just like sitting in a chair and then you could just cast and catch your fish maybe we get lucky and get something all right it's back on the water the bait very close to the bank but i want to go like really fast and then go in reverse. That's gonna be the reverse test. 4.2 miles an hour, 4.3, 4.5, 4.4, Oh my God, what's gonna happen here? Grass, ooh, ooh, can he hit the grass? Don't wanna hit my own line. I would say that was a pretty good test. We were going at 4.4 miles an hour, almost hitting the grass. We hit reverse and we went back in reverse. It took like a little bit to just go in reverse, but it did it. I made some adjustment to the drive right here. I tightened up the chains using this little bolt here. And it's working 10 times better than when I had it originally. For real. All right, so I wanna hit it up again, see what happens. But first, let's say you just wanna go super slow. Like seriously, you're not even moving. Like, like you don't have any strength left. You caught a giant fish, beat you up, and, and you're just going home and just like, like this. Like, look at my legs. I don't even wanna like move. Yeah, like seriously, come on. 1.6 miles an hour, not bad. Now let's say you, you got a little bit of energy because you remember something. You remember that you want to put this video up because the fish of a lifetime, right? And then you hit it up a little more. 2.7, 2.8. And then you just remember that you got an energy drink. You take it out of your cooler, you drink it up and then you get a jolt of energy and you just go. And you look funny like this. You look like a crazy maniac. 
I'm tired already, but I hit 4.2. And then your legs, your legs just gave out and they shot because you went too hard, too fast. And you cannot even move anymore because it's just, I mean, it's like you worked out for like 10 years. And what do you do next? Well, you put this camera away. You breathe like so and you grab your paddle and then what you do next after you breathe for a while like a long while you decide to paddle and you go slow for now because you're still catching your breath Let's bring it up water is above the water now because it was turning you still have the drive down because you don't feel like bringing it up and you just want to paddle the boat see what's up 2.5 2.4 tracking is a little bit weird it's a 10 foot boat so it's not gonna track super well not too bad turn around and then you see that you may catch your line and then you decide to go ahead and bring the drive up you lose this bolt align the prop and bring the drive up you gotta lose this very well all the way to the end if not you're gonna have issues taking the drive up you're still catching up your breath but you still want to go fast you want to show that fish to the world guys you want to get to shore snap a bunch of fishers make a quick video post it to social media because you caught a giant fish and then you get it nice uh oh and then the drive falls but uh do this it won't fall again <laughs> see how i put the, the prop there you could do that it won't fall again all right let's get back to the story so, so you, you gotta go to shore you gotta get to shore quick quick you, you want to tell the world about your fish and then you just hit a hole and you try to paddle this thing that is 38 inches wide and only 10 feet long and you're getting 3.4 miles an hour not bad at all guys not bad at all and tracking doesn't feel that bad let's just let go see what happens I mean, it's a 10 foot boat. It's not gonna track like, oh my God. But you could paddle it. Again, calm waters. I always do my test on calm waters like this because it's easy to replicate the results. If I'm doing this type of test on like really crazy nasty weathers, the results are gonna vary. They're never gonna be the same and it's gonna be impossible to compare one boat to the other. I do wanna do like, take this boat in super nasty conditions and talk about how it happened because the video is going to be terrible it's going to be super windy it's just going to be a mess Whew. all right so we cover paddling we cover the drive uh what was it 4.5 miles an hour that we hit maximum uh easy speeds like not even trying like two miles an hour and super super motor speeds that like you can maintain for hours uh easily three miles an hour and if you need to like rush it up a little bit and still go, you could be like between 3.8 to 4 miles an hour. So not bad at all, not bad at all. What I wanna do now is I wanna drop the drive and go to the grassy area and see how it performs. We all know what's gonna happen if we go shallow. It won't work because the drive is down. This is not like the Hobie ones that your drive could stay on all the time. You just spread out the fin why isn't it turning it I was turning and I'm like why why isn't it turning it the rudder the rudder wasn't down okay gotta gotta secure this thing real good so you don't have that crazy movement going on all right so let's go hit the grassy areas and I just want to see if I get stuck quickly when I tied up the, the drive chains, it, night and day, it used to skip 
tie it up a little bit, it's ready to go. Way better, way better. All right, so we see some grass around here now. Let's just hit it. Go to those grassy areas. Four legs of mine. This is gonna be crazy. I think there's fish around here. I don't know how I'm still going. This is like grass county. Okay. All right. Can I still go? Oh my god. This is bad. Seriously, I'm stuck. I can't move. Yeah. This is really thick grass. This is like super thick grass. When you get to this point, all you have to do is just bring the drive up. No propelled drive is going to be able to go through this. OMG, look at this. I want to see how shallow we could get to. I think this boat could go really, really shallow. I just hit something. Uh, maybe not that shallow. There's a lot of rocks here. But like, it sits. Doesn't seem to be sitting so low on the water. Like, you could still, you could still go in really shallow areas like this. There is some grass around here. I don't want to like get it too deep because we know what's going to happen. But let's just go on the borders. I'm encountering some grass. There's some fish over there. Like light grass, it would just go through it. It does have like a weed guard, so that's good. But like if it's heavy grass, not gonna happen. You could feel the grass there. Let's see, let's see the damage. I could feel some grass because I feel resistance. So let's go ahead and, and bring the drive up and see what kind of grass we have. And then just go and fly that drum. Let's do this. Lose that drive. Then it's some grass there. 